Hi, I'm Jeff Goldberg, and I'm a sales guru with Jeff Goldberg and Associates, but I'm not here to talk about sales today. I'm here with Dean Mercado, the co-author of The Mind Stretch, and I can't wait to find out what he means by The Mind Stretch. Dean, I've read the book, but I want you to share with our listeners. When I think of stretching your mind, I'm thinking of about 30 years ago when I used to do psychedelic drugs, but you're talking about a different type of mind stretch, right? Uh, absolutely. Tell me about what The Mind Stretch is and how it can help people. Absolutely. The Mind Stretch came out of the conversations... Uh, over about a year and a half with my co-author Barry Lau, a shout out to Barry, um, where we just talked about a lot of the things that we see, him as a coach, me as a coach, where the breakdowns were happening, where we were seeing the breakthroughs stem from, and we came down with seven basic disciplines you know, that, that we saw over and over and over. And two of those disciplines are two that we play very hard in, marketing and sales. You know, another big discipline, mindset. And we can go on and on. And what we did is for each one of those disciplines, we, we dissected them a little bit. And we broke them down to their core. And we made, we put together what we think is a very, very simple to read book, but not so simple to digest. The idea behind this thing was to, as coaches, was to get people to think Open their, open their mind a little bit, stretch. So we could take any topic in this book, any one statement in this book, and you and I could probably have a five-hour conversation on one of these. So is this a business book? Is this a personal development book? Is it, what, what's it used for? It's a great question. Both. All the above. You can use it as a business book. Absolutely. You can use it as a personal development book. Absolutely. I mean, let's just quote from the book. You know, a well-designed plan is dynamic. An evolving playbook. And the words were chosen very strategically. If you, and you, I know you know Barry Laub as well. Sure. Barry, I call him you know, a wordsmith. He's just a wordsmith. And we dissected every word in this book, boiled it down, removed all the fluff. So this could have been a 7,000-page book. So what does that mean, though, that, that a well-devised plan is dynamic? That it changes. It never sits still. Uh, it can never sit still. So people tend to get set in their ways oh, and yeah. here's how it's got to be. Oh, absolutely. Let's use a very rudimentary uh, example. A website. Okay? People put up a website and then they walk away for five years. And then they say, well, my website doesn't do anything for me. It's the same with a plan. If you have a plan for your business, if you have a plan for your life, you know what? Things change. New things enter your life. New possibilities show up. Have you factored them into the plan? You know, have you looked at how how that fits? You know, we were talking earlier about Sandy, Hurricane Sandy or, or, or Superstorm Sandy, whatever people want to call it. You lived in Long Beach. So you experienced the brunt of the most brutal area that got hit on Long Island. So when we think about that, your plans were changed. So if you don't have a plan that can evolve, and that's what that saying is saying, if you don't have a plan that can evolve despite what challenges come your way, you know what? You're not going to survive, especially in the world of business. You will not survive. There are too many people out there that will outthink you, outperform you, outproduce you, whatever, however you want to say it. So the idea is looking at each statement in this book and using these insights, as we call them, to really just sit there and, and, and I would say meditate on them. Think about them. Think them through and say, you know what? How does that affect me? How can, how, can, how can I change up my paradigms a little bit to, to, to serve me better now? Can you give us one more tip? So you said we've got to stretch our mind and not be rigid. What, what's one more that we can uh, take from you? Sure. We'll just randomly choose. How about that? Okay. Here's one. Yes, you can be unstoppable. What does that mean? <laughs> and that's a very, very, very simple one. Or is it? Yes, you could be unstoppable. How many people we see out there in sales, in marketing, that I know you say it all the time. You love when somebody says no to you. So let's say you're trying to make a sale and, and somebody says no. That's better than being indifferent, isn't it? It's way better. Right? So it's like being in a marriage. It's better if your, your wife or your husband hates you or loves you. If they're indifferent, there's no going back. So is unstoppable a mindset? Yes, it is. It's absolutely a mindset. Yes, absolutely a mindset. I can do anything I can achieve. That's correct. And, and we use that phrase, unstoppable. I'll draw it on my whiteboard for my clients all the time. Because you find people stopping themselves. And, and that's the key. How do you expect to succeed or reach higher levels in your business and in your life if you're stopping yourself down here all the time? There's always that little voice inside your head. It's that programming. Yeah, it's that, mm -hmm. that, that negative programming or that pre-programming that you have. Right? And we all know that, that prejudging, pre prejudice, it doesn't work. You know, it doesn't serve you. The mind stretch. Be unstoppable. 
co-author Dean Mercado. Is this on Amazon, Dean? Yes, it's on Amazon. Where else can you get it? Um, you can get it from our website, www.themindstretch.com. Be unstoppable. Stretch your mind.